Hey guys, welcome. In this lecture, we are going to make our action shape widget looks nicer. Okay. Now to do this, within the action shape widget, it has a property known as background color. And you can set this to whatsoever color you want, but I'm going to set this to colors dot yellow. And we can also give this a shade of 900. Now use control and S to save, and you're still not going to see the effect of this color. Wait for this, performing auto reload. Okay, you can see we do not have that color on, on this. Now what we have to do is within the action champ, it has a required property in order to show this color. And that property is referred to as the on press. So you can see basically this action champ is a button and it is clickable. So it wants us to pass this on pressed. And for now, the function can do nothing. Use control and to save now. And you're going to see that color. Wait for this. Wait for this. Okay, seems good. And what we can also do is we can wrap this test widget with a center widget. So make sure the test widget is at the center of the action chimp widget. Seems good. And also we can give a font size, font size of five and we can also give a font width font width of font width font width dot bold use control and to save and this out and see okay seems good and for now we can just have had uh, some other item to our list okay, i'm just going to copy this and paste this paste this paste this paste this use control s to save now and 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 Okay, you can see we can scroll this way, horizontal scroll. And you can see this trying to go inside this arrow. And the reason for this is because we wrapped it with this expanded widget. So that, that is why it's trying to, you, you feel it's trying to go inside that arrow. It's basically just trying to take the available space. 